This is from Ruth. It's a quick one. Hi, why didn't Ben stand in for Jordan when he got ill during the advent calendar? You stay safe as well, Ruth, and keep your fucking nose out. <laughs> Hello and welcome to our first weekend release of our now Infinity series. This is our bonus podcast episode that's going to keep going on and on and on. Forever. Not this episode. Just like Jordan's impressions. Not this episode, but the series is going to go on and on forever and ever. Mm. Where we see how much extra content we can squeeze into your weekend. Random things that have been sent in, extra bits from our week, and how our advice went down with you. Our wonderful G and Divas, and it's uh, fair to say it's good to be back, Mr. It is, yes. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. Um, Shall we reflect generally on our interesting Advent Calendar series? It's very sexted that we are the only Advent Calendar that then stopped halfway through the month. Admittedly, for good reason. How many days did we miss? We did up to 17, and then I believe we came back on 23rd. So we missed... 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah. Five days. Five days. Five days. Okay. It was five days, five empty days, long empty days for yeah. lots of people, mm. including me. I got the old Rona, sorry. But you're okay now. Yeah. But it was, it was, I mean, I'm it's... sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough doing a, a daily podcast, isn't it, Jordan? Mm. You're, of course, not familiar with that, but for those that had to do daily podcasts whilst you were sort of, you know, sitting around with nothing to do in Wales... Get uh, over that. Get over me. Get over you. I wish I could. <laughs> can I just can I just say for G and Divas, um, there was a very nice person that a uh, company that sent in Swan, to us. You can tell him. Swan sent a thanks, Swan. Uh, a couple of things. One of which was a grill, and Jordan's open it. And bear in mind, it's a grill. There are new sponsors, That's and right. it says grill on it. And John goes, "Oh, these are good for grilling." <laughs> Yeah, well, no shit. It's a grill. <laughs> well, you know what I meant? Oh, they're great for grilling. Mm, good. No, it's Can't... like a George Foreman grill that they've sent. It's good for grilling. Like a toasty maker. Yeah. I'm well, going to make loads of toasties and stuff on that. It's very, very versatile. Very grateful. So thank you for that. Um, did you enjoy the advent calendar? I did, yeah. And I, it was nice to read all... The, we got great feedback on it, so thank you to everybody that... Said they enjoyed listening to I like I liked our little elf images. Did you? You know when they made us oh, little yeah, elves yeah. with the logo? That was quite nice. Yeah. We look very cute. Yeah. Only because if only we look like that in real life. I know. I'm glad we had cartoon pictures up. Without sounding vain, I do feel as though producer pen. Producer pen? What with me? The producer pen. I've been getting my words mixed <gasps> up. The producer lot. pen. That's what we can call his room. Oh, there you go. That's the, the producer's pen. pen. I've been getting my words mixed up a lot lately. It's worrying well, me. Only for the last... 31 anyway, years. Uh, producer Ben. Yes, TM. Um, what was I saying then? I've lost my channel for. Oh, he, he, I feel like we're giving him a bit of stick on this podcast mm. and how he gets back at us is picking the worst <laughs> pictures of us to post on social media. Yeah. Seriously. Mm. And when it was his birthday on the 19th of December and I went and did the post on behalf of you and I, I picked a really nice, flattering photo of Ben that I know that he will have seen and gone, I look good there. He takes a great picture, though, to be fair. Well, not all of them. I have got some pretty bad no, ones. No, but, no, no. But takes, generally, he takes a good one. He takes a good picture. Mm. It, he's like, Ben, we're taking a picture, and then he just turns around and pouts like <laughs> Victoria Beckham. Is that what you're doing? I'm pouting. Well, I'm pouting for the picture. You, well, before we analyse our Christmases... Good size of that. Hello? <laughs> yeah? No, I'm just doing a podcast recording. Yeah. Now I'll ring you back in five. All right. Ta-ra. Yeah. All right, pal. See you in a bit. Bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Bye. How big's that phone? Good size of it, that. Darling, it's an that. iPad. Look at that. Darling, it's William. Yes, I'll be home soon. Yes. Get the lube out and warm the bed up. I'm feeling frisky, darling. Frisky. Oh, mother, I'm sorry. I, 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 wrong person. Bye. Oh, that's wrong on so many levels. Hello, William Hansen. What's your company called? The English Manor. Oh. Hello, William Hansen. The, what is it? Oh, thanks. The English Manor. Hello, Wi- Hello, William Hansen, English Manor. Sheridan, <laughs> darling! Wrong podcast. How are you? Oh, I can just imagine you doing all your calls. 
One thing that was very good about our uh, advent calendar was all the TikToks, or as you call it, being a presenter on a youth radio station. Talk tick. And uh, there was one in particular that was drawn to my attention, went slightly viral, with people maybe just ever so slightly, maybe, taking everything they see on rather trivial social media platforms seriously. Oh, uh, what was the video? Can you remember my policy on what would happen if people that I employ, like accountants, lawyers, etc., turned off on a Zoom call in a Christmas jumper. Oh, yeah. And I said I would fire them on the spot or wouldn't pay their invoice within 14 days. I might pay it within 15 days <laughs> and meeting for all. Okay. Well, off that went on to Toktik and it went slightly mad. Oh, really? People got quite cross. Okay. Um, someone saying, sadly, he can't do that. There are laws. People, are these the comments? These aren't people who potentially maybe have a little bit too much free time. Um, so lots of discussion about the legalities of this. Um, unfair dismissal. Unfair dismissal based on religious grounds. Easiest triple settlement ever, apparently. To which that got 21 replies. This would only work if it was a permanent employee. The people he is referring to are contractors, which do not have the same employment rights. Oh, for God's sake. It was a fascinating discussion about contractual employment law, if anyone is interested. Jeez, I thought TikTok was all about having a laugh and silly dancing. Christmas is nothing to do with religion, someone puts very, uh, very strictly. Why are you referring to a con single consumer act? I do not know. Sacking someone for a jumper reveals a lot about someone's personality. I agree with that. Yes, it does. Uh, straight to a tribunal for unfair dismissal. This man might think he's the bollocks. He's just a small man who doesn't understand leadership. I got a mate that got sacked from um, Fairground. Very much like Josh doesn't understand comedy. He sued him for fun fair dismissal. <laughs> Why can't you do that as a joke of the week? It's good, isn't it? Apparently, this reveals a very controlling nature. Someone has put. Oh, I'd agree with that. Hoppo 62, no less. I'd agree with that, Hoppo. William is so posh, only three men will ever enter his bedroom. His husband, his doctor and his priest. Hmm. Right. That naughty priest only for the last sacrament, of course. I mean, I don't really... I, I mean, look, as long as they're happy. So, how, how does it work, TikTok? Never... How does it work, TikTok? How, how long have we had this for, this TikTok account? For a while. Shall we do what we always do on this part of the bonus episode? Go to our listener responses. So this isn't exactly problems, it's just bits yeah. you've and, and talking of Christmas, people have obviously got lots of questions about sort of the Christmas period, and I feel this is quite a good follow-up response from John. Dear William Jordan and PB, I'm so pleased you are returning with your podcast. It's been so long. I hope you all had a pleasant Christmas and New Year and were not too exhausted as a result of the four weeks of Advent. While I appreciate the whole point of your podcast is to help us navigate the challenges of modern life, in quotes, I do hope you will not throw yourselves into our problems in the first episode, but instead enlighten us as to how your celebrations over Christmas and New Year went. So, I'm going to ask, I'm going to read the question. Yeah. You give an answer. Okay. Oh, great. Who got stuffed with too much turkey and Christmas pudding? I didn't get much stuff in this Christmas. Did you not? No. Well, isolation. No, I just I didn't eat that much Christmas. I was still overcoming COVID. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And then, I, you know, when you go home a couple, few days later, I went back down south and I was like, oh, God, I've got to eat, eat that ham now. Okay. Um, I, I had one portion of turkey and quite a few portions of Christmas pudding. Who pulled each other's cracker? I don't get that. Who pulled, well, who pulled each other's cracker? What do you mean? Did you pull my cracker? No, I wasn't Did with I... you on Christmas Day. No, and I didn't pull your cracker. Not this year. Whose sack got emptied first? What time did you get up? <laughs> Seven. Oh, y yours. I didn't get up till like half nine. Half nine uh, on Christmas Day? I was shattered. Wow. Yeah. Well, you were recovering, I should, sorry, I should just also point out. Um, what presents did you get? Did William get his new napkins? Did Mikey get a new builder's belt? Did Jordan get a new Burnley shirt? Brackets, I avoided the obvious. And did Diego get a new bone? Well, we're looking over to the to producer. What did Diego did get? Did get B.A.? B.A.? What is up with me? Did it's you get right. B.A. gone? Who don't? What is up with me? What did Diego get? He got a few new toys. He got a book. Hang on, he got Sorry, a book. He got Diego a book. Oh, that's sweet. She said, my mum got him a London dog book, so things to do. 
I mean, your mother is aware he's a dog, dog yes? What do you do if you get home today and he's like sat at reading chair with his glasses <laughs> just on end of his nose? Has Diego joined Goodreads yet? <laughs> what got, did you get? Oh, my mum got me a really nice tracksuit. God, she's getting one on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she got me a mum as well. She went, I've been a bit... I've gone a bit out there with your presence this year. I've, I've gone a bit out there. I've been a bit wild. So um, I can't wait for you to open it on Christmas Day. I've got a um, Segway ride round the Thames. Round the Thames? Yes. You are aware the Thames is water. Yeah, the Segway doesn't float. Segway and that. Oh, I see. That's, that's nice. That's really cute. Yeah, what did you get? What was your favourite present? Well, you're going to hear all about my absolute favourite present next week, which was a kitchen item. OK. Um, but can you remember I read you my Christmas list? Yeah. Shall we go through my kitchen list again, and I'll tell you what I got. Gardening gloves, medium. Sadly, did not get this. <sighs> so if anyone wants to buy me <clears throat> some medium gardening gloves, the address is on the website, sexandmyboss.com. don't. He, he's got money to burn this lad, don't send him out. Wine foil cutter. Tick. Got. Oh, did you? Like, you know, for the little sort of device to yeah, remove I've the... got one. I had a good one of them somewhere. I've lost that. We'll put one on your list. It's yeah. your birthday coming up next month. Le Creuset Silicon Spoon. Tick. I've got a, a silicon stirring spoon. Well, it's a like big... a spatula. Yeah. Yeah. Le, does it have to be Le Creuset? I was running out of ideas. Le Creuset Silicon Pan Grippers. Tick. Very useful. Not just for pans. Laura Star anti-scale cartridge refills. Tick. Oh. Pack of three. New everyday napkins. I love how you said that like, back of the net. <laughs> Tick. Nigel Slater, a cook's book. Tick. George V, never a dull moment. Tick. What's that? Just a, a book about George V. George V. No, I didn't get George V. He's dead. Stuffed. In a tomb in the St George's Chapel in Windsor. <laughs> Uh, a K-Met dinner tray. Sadly, I did not get that. Oh, Mike, he's not done well this year, has he? Uh, ear thermometer disposable heads. Big tick. Delighted. Didn't you have them before Christmas? No. I got the dis the ear thermometer for my birthday. I then needed some refills. Because mm. Mikey gets quite paranoid about uh, temperatures, so we do take, take our temperatures quite a lot. Of course you do. Yeah. So thus, I needed some more disposable heads. New fruit bowl. Well, it was ordered. It was not uh, as big as we expected, and so it's been sent back. Uh, magic trackpad. Yes. What the hell is that? Magic set? <laughs> the no, for the, you know, like for a computer, the trackpad. What, are we 99? No, well, that's quite modern, actually, oh, okay. instead of a mouse. So, all in all, a pretty exciting Christmas. Okay, next question. Uh, who fell to their knees first, having too much eggnog? A shame. I absolutely shame, right? So I also, over Christmas, had uh, a tooth abscess. A, a what? A tooth abscess. I had an abscess right. on my wisdom tooth. And once I started taking antibiotics, it was fine. On Christmas Day, I just had this... Um, and I do not advise this, seriously, do not advise this. I just had this throbbing pain all day in my mouth <laughs> and I forgot to take some <laughs> grow up I forgot to take some he had a large swelling at the back of his mouth so <laughs> so I took two cold <clears throat> codamol and had a few wines conked out got, got sent to bed a shame got sent to bed on Christmas day about 11 o'clock gosh it's not one so thing fun. it's another I know yeah Two cock holes on mill and you've gone to bed. Uh, number six. Uh, were there any arguments and who in the family is the biggest pain in the backside? There weren't any arguments. Uh, no, I went to my brother's. It was yeah, great. We had no arguments. Yeah, in our we house. didn't have any arguments, I don't think. There have been Christmases in my house where we've had arguments. The year when we were children. Is that the year you came out when you had a big argument? No, but there, well, no, no, and that wasn't Christmas. Okay. Um, actually, I forgot. So. Um, my nephew was in the living room and um, Dominic, my brother, just said to him, pour your drink over me. So he did. Over you? No, over Dominic. <coughs> so he poured the drink over him. What was the drink? Just a uh, juice. But did it not stain everything? Uh, right on the, yeah, so he got showered at. But other than that, that's just my brother's really dry sense of humour. Unlike him. Mm. 
sopping wet. So there you go. Any more correspondence? Uh, yes, this is from Ruth. It's a quick one. Hi, why didn't Ben stand in for Jordan when he got ill during the advent calendar? He did a great job in the castle days. Stay safe, Ruth. Well, Ruth, you're obviously misremembering our castle podcast. You stay safe as well, Ruth, and keep your fucking nose out. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Ruth, I'm joking, that was a joke. I'm joking. I mean, it's a valid point. It, it is a very valid point. I would have been happy for him to cover. Really? Yeah, I would have been. Yeah, but people, I, I don't want to say this, but I think people sometimes, for that castle series, he they preferred him. Yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> well, I, I think they preferred him to both of us. Yeah, no, that was definitely. the trouble. When we went on tour last year. Oh my god. When we brought Ben on to the stage, the round of applause, the standing ovation. Stamping. It, stamping, screaming, people throwing knickers on stage. Oh, I hate that word. People throwing knickers on stage. Yeah. Like that was just his mum. <laughs> like it was unreal. The boy's popular. He is popular. But we're older and very um What's the word? Insecure. Insecure. <laughs> so we uh, keep him at arm's length, Ruth. So, yeah. I was only joking before, by the way, Ruth. Uh, it's a very good point. It is a very valid point. Uh, but maybe... maybe well, look, this is serious infinity. We've, we've joked about when, when we potentially need to disappear. Maybe we do an episode with Ben. Okay. He can be our... Sta- he, you see, I have never missed an episode of this podcast. Neither have I. Yep. You went away for three weeks. I was tr- in a frigging castle. Yeah, you missed it. I don't know what you want me to say to that. Well <laughs> no, done. I just like the. Oh, I bet you one of those. I bet you one of those kids that had hundred percent record at school, didn't you? Oh no. Did you not? I mean, I would only not attend when I was ill. I didn't play truant. Oh, did you not? No. No, I bet you. Go and your... hide in the neighbour's orangery. Were well, your mum and dad like those parents that like? Decided to take two week off. Could go Tenerife because it was absolutely not, mm. absolutely not. You were only you only didn't go to school if you had a temperature. If you didn't have a temperature, you're going to school. Really? Yeah, that was the policy. Even if you had a cough or a cold. Nope. God. Unless you have a temperature. Darling, mummy's rule: you must have a temperature. I don't care if your leg has fallen off, darling. You will crawl to bloody school. Now, mummy wants to. Have some vodka and a coffee and Nancy will take you to school. <laughs> Darling, I will not be told. Mummy, mummy, I, 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 I'm feeling well. Oh, James, you can have the day off, darling. <laughs> well, mummy I, will look after you, James. I mean, it was basically that, yes. <laughs> mummy will look after my boy, James. Don't you worry, mummy is here for you always and forever, darling. William, get ready, you're going to school. <laughs> So, Jordan, just so it's clear for everyone, what are we going to be doing in our weekend releases for Series Infinity? So, the weekend releases are just, like, added extra silliness. So, um, it's more responses. It's maybe questions that don't quite make the main podcast. It's clearing bits up that have happened. Maybe a lot of the time is if somebody's got in touch from another series and we've helped them out with our advice, we'll hear how they're getting on. And I think in the Infinity series, I reckon we get some special guests on. Well, maybe they'd have to be very special. Very special guests. Yeah. And just have a laugh with other people that do podcasts and stuff like that. Yes. I just think it'd be fun, won't it? Yeah, because we've, we've had my brother on before. My brother on, yeah. We could maybe have one of your brothers on. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking how we'd get him from prison. No, <laughs> None of your brothers are in I'm prison. I'm joking. I'm joking. None of my brothers are in prison. Anymore. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> We, it'll be taking weekend release very, very literally with some of your brothers. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Can they be on weekend release? Oh, oh yes. okay. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, very yeah. good. Thank you. Very good. Uh, so if you've got a question or a story that isn't a dilemma or a problem, this is the place where we can read it out. So drop into our DMs on social media or send us an email to help at sexedmyboss.com with anything that you want to share with us. Uh, we also love hearing back from the people that we have offered advice to. If you have taken our advice or ignored our advice, what happened next? Let us know. If that is you, uh, get back in touch with producer Ben and Jordan and I will see you next Tuesday. Ciao for now.